What's good y'all, it's your boy Ross back at again with another video and happy Halloween to everyone out there, man. You know I had to dress up and participate in it. Hopefully y'all like the, the threads, the, the, the whole get up or whatnot. Um, if you know who I'm supposed to be, comment it down below. And don't say furries because I've seen some of y'all post it on the Interclutch page and on the Instagram that I'm a furry. I'm not. I promise you guys. I'm not just look at the jacket pay attention to the jacket and you'll know I can't even really show you the whole jacket because as soon as I show you you'll figure it out but since it is Halloween I wanted to do something Halloween related something spooky related so I decided to talk about some of the scarier wrestlers in my day back in my day it sounds so old back when I was a kid these wrestlers used to scare the hell out of me. And I'm not saying that as a joke, like legit. Anytime I would be able to watch like Monday Night Raw as a kid at my uncle's house, I used to get afraid when these wrestlers would pop up on screen. So one of the first ones that, uh, that used to scare me anytime I saw him was Gangrel. Now, if you're a kid, especially as young as I was at that time. You remember the the whole vampire craze. Like that was a time in in media where people love vampires. It was just all about vampire movies and books and stuff like that. The craze for vampires was, you know, it was it was pretty real back in the day, you know? And it's not that vampires used to scare me, but they kind of weirded me out. They kind of creeped me out. But as a kid, Seeing Gangrel rise from the depths of hell, if you guys remember his entrance, had the creepy music, had the flames, and he's rising up, and he had this jar full of blood that he would drink from, used to scare the living hell out of me. Not gonna lie to you, legitimately used to scare me as a kid, and it was one of those things where it was like, anytime I saw him, I kind of would, you know... I would get nervous, not to say I would like maybe run away or turn my head, but I would, it would just creep me out. I don't know. I, I couldn't really explain it and didn't make it better that you had Edge and Christian sometimes be with them and then they would smile. Well, not smile, but they would open their mouth and you see the fangs. I'm like, hey, man, what? why is this vampire wrestling some of my favorite wrestlers? What's going on here? And not to say that he was just someone to, I guess you could say, be afraid of they never really booked him as someone to be like he was a dangerous threat in the wrestling ring but it was still as a kid watching someone rise from the depths of hell with fangs and drinking blood it definitely creeped me out and just to prove my point that i remember this so vividly how creeped out i used to be by gangrel if you guys remember the old raw is war intro before the show starts and y'all remember how they would cut to different parts? If y'all remember, Gangrel would be on the intro. And he'd be, you know, it would cut to him and he's showing his fangs. They used to creep me out, bro. Not gonna lie to you. Definitely used to creep me out as a kid. If you remember, y'all y'all remember the good old days, man. So, uh, Gangrel definitely was someone that, in hindsight, when he got older, I'm like, why the hell was I scared of this motherfucker? But when you really think about it, as a kid... He just scared the, he kind of creeped me out, scared the hell out of me. Next person, it's kind of obvious. This person right here is very, very obvious. He's probably one of the scariest characters of all time. And that is none other than The Undertaker himself. Now, as a kid, without a shadow of a doubt, if Gangrel caused some fear, The Undertaker definitely caused some fear because for the longest time as a kid i legit thought this motherfucker was a dead man now i'm being so dead serious i mean the kid we don't really know too much back in that day i thought this man was dead he just he's a zombie out there wrestling that's what i thought paul his, paul bearer used to creep me out the way he sounded Ooh! like it, all that shit used to creep me out the druids that he used to have with him, the the, cre uh, the creepy music, the lightning out of nowhere, all of it. And especially, especially his iconic sit-up 
after being hit with multiple moves, he would just sit right back up and like nothing ever happened. Oh yeah, I legit thought, man, they have a dead human being, a zombie out here wrestling. He used to scare the living crap out of me. Dead ass. It was, it's funny thinking about that now and, and realizing, you know, how good he was in the ring, how well respected, and how, how much of a cool person, you know, he was outside of the gimmick. But, bruh, not knowing that, just as a kid, just enjoying wrestling, terrified of this man. Legitimately had a few nightmares about the Undertaker coming to get me. I think my uncle used to make fun of me. Uh, if you don't behave, the Undertaker going to get you. And guess what? I would behave because I didn't want the Undertaker tombstone pile driving me and then sending me to the underworld. Like, no, nah, I was good. I was good. One of the most infamous moments I remember as a kid was the whole sacrifice situation where he had the, the cross or whatnot. Like that, that kind of creeped me out. I think he was uh, trying to sacrifice Stephanie. It was, it was, it was some, I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm checking out on this one. Man. I don't, I ain't liking this, bro. I, I'm, you know what? I'm, I'm definitely going to church. I'm definitely going to Sunday school this week. I'm, I don't know about this, but it worked. It worked for you watching wrestling as a kid. You get that sense of, you know, you, you believe everything you've seen on television. is also real. <clears throat> So seeing this, yeah, it definitely kind of creeped me out. But at the same time, when I got over there, I was able to respect, you know, just his craft and, and how committed he was to the character. So it actually kind of worked out. But definitely one of the ones that used to just terrify me growing up. And the last person that as a kid used to terrify me as a wrestler is none other than his supposed brother Kane, of course. Of course, I was going to bring up Kane. And like I said, this is around that time period. Those were the wrestlers that really brought fear. Like anytime I saw them, I, I definitely got nervous, especially with Kane. It was something about the red lighting, the flash of the, the, the flame pyro coming out of nowhere. And for me, it was one of those things like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Paul Bearer just switched over. And now is supporting Kane. Kane is his brother, the brother to the Undertaker, and the Undertaker scares me. And Kane definitely scares me even more. Like at one point, Kane scared me more because, I mean, he was related to the Undertaker. This nigga is a pyromaniac coming to the ring, making fire, you know, flame out through the entranceway and the goddamn the the ring post. I. His iconic debut breaking open the hell in the cell cage. I was just like, what is, who is this monster? And he had the same type of similar attributes. He would get hit and you think he's done and he'd get right back up. And I think it was because the combination of the mask too. The mask definitely kind of creeped me out as a kid. He didn't really say much. He was just this silent, unstoppable being. That's just related to The Undertaker. It was great. I loved this. Loved it in the sense of now looking back, like, yeah, it brought back the emotions of fear and stuff. But at the time, definitely was afraid. I was afraid of Kane more than The Undertaker once he debuted. And then once they started doing stuff, then I, I started to lose the fear, uh, uh, you know, a little bit more as I got older. But initially, he creeped me out. And anytime I saw him, I would get scared and my uncle would make fun of me. Not a lot to you. It was just the flames and all this other stuff. Little did I know that his new theme music, well, not new theme music, but the theme music he would get around the time, you know, he would lose his mask would be ultimately my favorite wrestling theme music, favorite wrestling theme song. So it's kind of funny how someone that used to scare me the most anytime I heard his theme music, it's not one of the things that I wanted to hear more as I got older, it's kind of a funny thing how things play out that way. But for me, these were the three wrestlers that I grew up with. Gangrel, Undertaker, and Kane that legitimately scared the hell out of me. They did. I don't know what to tell you. I was a young kid. What, what am I supposed to do? I think they did their job. If you were a kid growing up watching these guys. And then, of course, 
as you got older, the newer generation acquired an attitude there and stuff. They had the boogeyman. It never really scared me. At that point, I'm older now. So, it never really scared me. You just kind of kind of treat me out with the worms and stuff. And then you go even further with the, you know, what they were doing with Bray Wyatt. And I'm pretty sure maybe some of the kids growing up used to be afraid of him, you know, and his incarnation into the fiend. So, it's always each generation, there's always a scary spooky wrestler that you know it may not be scary for the adults but it's there to put a little bit of fear for the children that may be watching so i don't know but hey y'all comment down below let me know some of the wrestlers that put fear into your your heart as soon as you saw them doesn't matter what generation of wrestlers it can even be before you know the attitude there or whatever if you like an earliest memory of you watching a wrestler and they just they made you scared like legitimately scared and you was like i don't know if i want to watch this anymore let me know down below who it was once again hopefully uh, hopefully y'all have a great halloween y'all enjoy yourselves and if you do go trick-or-treating please be safe out there and uh you know i, I appreciate everyone for all the love and support road to 150k appreciate y'all kicking it with me see y'all next one peace